What's going on guys, Bill K Anomaly here, and I'm bringing you a, uh, actually this is not Black Ops today, I'm bringing you some Battlefield Bad Company 2 Vietnam, which, uh, I don't think any of you guys have seen this from me yet, but, uh, I don't, I don't know why I haven't yet, I guess it's just kind of annoying to edit the videos, but, uh, this is going to be a two-part video, I split it up because it's 14 minutes long, which is actually really short for a Vietnam video, and, uh, although it's still too long for YouTube, but the, uh, the reason I'm posting this game is it's not the best score. It's a 25 and 6, which is, you know, respectable for uh, for uh, Battlefield considering it's you know a very objective-based game. It's not really like Call of Duty with killstreaks and such. But um, I think I get the reason I'm posting this is I get six of my I believe six of my team's eight MCOM plants, and uh, we win the game. And basically, I'm 3,000 points ahead of all my teammates, and it's just. A pretty crazy, a pretty crazy effort by me. The last two MCOMs is basically what the second video is going to be, and I single-handedly start the push for the plan on both of them. And I think I get the plan on one of them, maybe both. I'm not sure, but regardless, uh, I think Battlefield. I like Battlefield more than Call of Duty personally. The reason I play Call of Duty is because uh, most of my friends play it, and I don't. I think only one or two of my friends own Battlefield, so and generally playing with your friends is more fun. So. Uh, that's the reason I play Call of Duty most of the time, and uh, but I t tend to like Battlefield more because it's more of a, it's more based on winning and it's more exciting going for the win in this game. And also, uh, I just like the feel of the guns. A lot of people say the reason I don't like Battlefield is how sluggish it runs on uh, runs on 30 frames a second, where Call of Duty runs on 60. So it's it's for most people it's noticeable, but uh, I don't really notice it as much. Maybe occasionally when I come back to Battlefield from like a once long break, uh, I'll notice it the first game, and then I never notice it again, so it doesn't really bother me that bad. But, um, it's just, I don't know, something about Battlefield, the whole, like, teamwork thing, and the squad, and the, you know, spawn on your teammates, and I like the guns a lot, too, how you can kind of customize your kit. Like, I mean, it's, it's like Call of Duty, but at the same time, you can customize the middle of the game, so you can switch, and be ready for any situation, and, uh, you know, destructible environments, and it just has a really, has a realistic warlike feel. Or Call of Duty feels like you're playing in an arcade. There's nothing like real war because of how uh, I don't know, unrealistic the game. You know, the bullets and the damage and such things like lightweight. I don't know, and uh, I, mean, I don't know other things like that that are just really unrealistic that make it feel kind of arcadey. And uh, Battlefield just feels really real. So this game I'm using, for the majority of it, I know for the first part I'm using the M16 and uh, with lightweight pack, magnum ammo, and uh, vehicle doesn't matter because there's no vehicles in Castle and Temple. But uh, the reason I was using the M16, it's actually not my favorite assault rifle, that probably goes to the M14. Actually the M16 is probably my least favorite assault rifle, although all three of them are very good and I do like the M16. The reason I'm using it is I was going for gold star on it because there's an achievement in uh, Vietnam to get gold stars and all the... Uh, all the primary weapons, which I did get a couple later that day, and uh, it's a really annoying achievement to get since the Uzi pretty much just sucks, and so does the Mac 11 or this Mac, the M10 in this game. The uh, M16 gets a little annoying to use sometimes. Sometimes it's all right. The sniper rifles, the M4, the M21 is is average, and the SVD is an absolute. You might as well be shooting marshmallows. That was. That was a tough one. That was probably the hardest one to get. And uh, the Matic ones, all the Matic ones are good. So it was just annoying to get, because generally I actually like regular Battlefield better than Vietnam. I'm not sure why, I think I just like the maps better. And this is just, it's easy to camp in the bushes, honestly. Because uh, in the regular game, it's very, you're basically fighting in Iraq and, you know, the Afghanistan, you know, desert places, so there's no foliage at all. The only coverage you have is buildings and if you make yourself a foxhole or whatever, but basically there's no really camping except for in obvious spots where you can just blow them out with RPGs. Where in Vietnam, since it's set in Vietnam, it's very okay, it's jungle, the jungly. That's not a word. Uh, I don't know what you would call it, bushy. That sounds homosexual. All right. Um, well, there's a lot of bushes, and the perfect for the bush walkies with their ghillie suits. You can hardly see them sometimes, and it it can be annoying. And I generally just like the maps better. And, regular battlefield but uh, anyway this part of the video is coming to wrapping up this part's really short because I wanted to get separate it into the uh, the last video being the last MCOM so uh, I'll see you guys next video and uh, 
Make sure you rate and favorite and sub and all that stuff, because it really does help me out, guys. Alright, next one's going to be a lot longer, so stay tuned for that. Alright, see ya.